Exercise 10 after recording the transactions of Exercise 9 in T accounts and calculating the balance of each account, prepare a trial balance. Use May 31st as its report date. Here are the T accounts from Exercise 9. When we look at the cash T account, to calculate the ending balance, we total up the debits, $20,218 in debits. We then total the credits, $11,269 in credits, and net the two together, a net debit balance of $8,949. Accounts receivable has $3,551 in debits, less the credits of $1,491 is a net debit balance of $2,060. Office supplies and office equipment don't need to be totaled, as each only has a single transaction recorded. Accounts payable. $9,263 in credits, $9,263 in debits, gives us a zero balance. And I'm going to list this as a credit balance, as accounts payable is a liability, and liabilities have normal credit balances. The capital and withdrawal accounts don't need to be totaled, because they, too, are only affected by a single transaction. Fees earned, the revenue account, has total credits of 5528 and again, rent expense has a single transaction. Once we've totaled these transactions, we take each account and include it on the trial balance. The format of a trial balance lists the company name, Amina Company, the report title, the trial balance, and the date for which the trial balance is prepared, May 31, 2011. And we have two columns, one for the accounts with debit balances and one for the accounts with credit balances. We then list the assets in order of liquidity. Cash, accounts receivable, office supplies, office equipment are all assets with normal debit balances. Next we include the liabilities, accounts payable, and even though there's a zero balance, I'm going to include it. We proceed to the equity accounts, listing the owner's investment account, her capital account with its $16,750 credit balance, and her withdrawal account with a $1,000 debit balance. The investment account, the capital account, has a normal credit balance as its purpose is to increase equity, and the withdrawal account has a normal debit balance as its purpose is to decrease equity. And finally, we list the income statement accounts. First, the revenues, fees earned, with its credit balance of 5528 and increased equity, and then rent expense, with its debit balance of 520 debits decrease equity. The total of our debits must equal the total of our credits, $22,278 in debits, and $22,278 in credits.